Well, it's been great fun. Um, this is a new experience for me because I wasn't involved in the first two, which presented a number of challenges because I'm sort of the new boy on the block. And you know, here I am with Paul Hogan, who's a friend, but Paul is the producer, star, and writer. And, uh, and uh, I'm the director, but uh, he's such a good guy and so great to work with and very professional. And, and uh, so we have a very good relationship. First and foremost, of course, it's the script. And uh, because without a script, you don't have anything. And in this case, we have a very strong script. It's, it's funny. It's also heartwarming. And it has a nice, uh, strong emotional thread throughout, and particularly at the end. And that's one of my strengths as a director. And we decided we didn't want the press to know that we were looking for a kid. We just wanted to go through the normal channels. But uh, two weeks before we started shooting, I hadn't found anyone that I was happy with. So we gave the story to three major Australian newspapers and had an open call the following Saturday and five and a half thousand kids turned up between Melbourne, Sydney and Brisbane and uh, Surge was a result of reading about it in the newspaper. And, um, but because of where he lives geographically, he couldn't actually get to Sydney and his parents actually sent us a tape and I saw the tape and then we arranged to bring him to Sydney and I met him and as soon as I met him, he had the part. Paul is a, I think he's actually grown as an actor and um, he, uh, he's very uh, professional in the set. He knows sort of what he wants. And he also, he knows what's funny and what's not funny. And he's got a great sense of timing. And uh, so it makes my job easy because as a writer, he knows what he wants out of a scene. And, uh, and you know, sometimes I might make a suggestion and say, wouldn't it be funnier if, but you know, most of, the, most of the laughs come from what he's created originally on paper. He's a great sort of observer of life and, uh, and uh, he loves poking gentle fun at things and, uh, and that's one of the things that I think is appealing about these movies. I knew Linda because I've known Paul for some years and, uh, and uh, she's great to work with because you know she's theatre trained and, uh, and it's always easy working with theatre trained people because they're very disciplined and they turn up and they know all the words and, uh, and they've always got good ideas and uh, so yeah she's a dream to work with. We had a quite a difficult sequence where we had to close down a LA freeway. That was a big challenge, and uh, only a couple of days to shoot it because you just can't shut down a freeway. And uh, and uh, we were lucky enough to be able to close down one over the weekend for a couple of days. That was very challenging because it involved, you know, helicopters and lots of cars and lots of extras and a skunk and the kid and Mick and the police and uh, you know those sort of things are logistical nightmares. So that was a big challenge.